Hello everyone, this is Karen. So today I'm going to give an update uh, with my Philanopsis orchids that I self-pollinate last summer. Um, so I did an experiment. Um, so it's only a self-pollinate because like I said, it's an experiment. I didn't cross-pollinate them or anything like that. So I'm just going to, I'm here to uh, give an update. So I pollinated them around July or August. So this one right here, you can see that. I just watered them yesterday. And so these are no ID Phalaenopsis orchids. Um, how I ID them, I just, I took a picture and plan to put a, you know, the flower picture uh, individual so I know what color they are. So this one, there's like four of them here. So you can see that one here. This one. And here, yeah, so far they're looking pretty good. A lot of new roots here. I'm going to uh, grow them from seeds and another experiment. So I did a uh, research actually and I found uh, a YouTuber I care but not so he did um, grow orchid seeds and I found his um, channel very helpful so I'm gonna try it myself so I actually I have a lot of orchid seeds to work on so that's gonna be awesome so this one right here You know the the leaves are huge and look at those roots right there they're nice and plump and green like I said I just watered them yesterday so they're they look very wet right now so this one I have two um, seed pods right here so according to uh, American Orchid Society um I needed what, 120 days for them to be ready to, uh, to harvest the orchid seeds okay next one is this one I know this pot seems very small for this orchids you can see the roots like ready to come out already I mean look at this one. <laughs> yes so the roots are very good right here i love the leaves they're very beautiful and so this one is white with pink all right so for this one i have like two seeds seed pods so because I have a lot of seed pods, I can, you know, I can do a lot of experiment with them. Okay, for the next orchids, right here. Yeah, the roots are going crazy. <clears throat> Actually, this one, I... Uh, I repotted this uh, when it's it was blooming so this is like an update for repotting update too for this and got new a lot of new leaves from this one so when I repotted this it was blooming this was this uh, this is a repotting update for the blooming repelinopsis orchids and you see the roots right here because I know a lot of people were saying don't repot them when they're blooming and I always repot them especially if the uh, um, <clears throat> the media that they're in is terrible you know I don't want to wait long uh, anyway I also self pollinate this one so I only did one in this plant right here if you can see and you see that 
<clears throat> there it is all right now the next one that I pollinated is this one yeah I, I don't know if you can see this there's a cakey too and not only that it has uh, three seed pods so this one is white with yellow lips I, I, I actually like this one and uh, you can see the roots here actually if you can see the bottom right here right there there's a lot of roots coming out so yeah I'm so excited you know I'm gonna try to grow orchids from seeds that I self pollinate so you know maybe after if I'm successful doing that maybe I'll do a cross pollinating a cross pollination you know and then hybrid so but for now just be, like I said this this is an experiment if I can grow them at home then maybe you can do it uh, at home to yourself all right so those are my philanopsis orchids that i self-pollinate so i will have a lot of uh, seeds coming i will have a lot of seeds to work with so that's good you know if i feel then I have other seed pods to work with, you know. So hopefully, I'm hoping by December they're going to be ready, the, the seed pods. So, we'll all see. And uh, if you haven't already, <clears throat> please like and subscribe to my channel for more update. And thank you for watching.